I feel like a lot of producers, they don't push their record consistently enough. After a month and a half, they're like, all right, this isn't going to blow up, so I'm going to stop pushing this shit. They'll drop a song, one or two Instagram posts, a tweet, then it's gone. They With this album, I drop these singles, so every few weeks I'm pushing these singles, referencing back to those other ones. It's going to take a few times to be in front of someone's face before it really resonates with them. In the 90s and 80s, there were maxi singles. Mm -hmm. So like yeah. it was like a hip-hop remix, yeah. an R&B club remix. It would be like five songs on a 12 They'd be like Coil Race song, right, Players? Maxi she created a maxi single. Song. I don't even think she realized she did. She didn't that. even realize she did it. <laughs> did like an East Coast version of that song, the DJ Sage remix. Yeah. Jersey Club remix. Yeah. David Guetta remix, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And, and I it, think Tokisha's on one of them too. And, and, and she did a reggaeton version. Yeah. It could have just been that one version and it would have died. Mm -hmm. But it had so many different remixes, it stayed alive for like a year. And right? it's still going. Yes. <laughs>